Tiffany. I am here with the new Neurally Galactics. These are so cute. Look at this one with little pigtails. Oh my goodness. So the most brilliant babies have arrived to make your home their home. These are the Neurally Galactics. The gaggle of glowing babies is tucked inside the new absorb observatory of the Unmilky Way in case they grow a little homesick. There's nothing the Neurally Galactics love more than discovering new constellations. Keep them happy by creating a few constellations of your own with the stars they brought from their home galaxy. So these, I believe, are the three that you can collect. And I got this little special bag with what I just read to you guys with some stars inside. <laughs> make, it, make them feel more at home. But we do have a special care guide on each of these. And then if we kind of look at the packaging, it's really, really cool. It has like this globe and this little tube. And there's so much. There's so much. So we do have a little story here on the side. Let's see what we got. Once upon a time in a galaxy not so far away, the Neurally Galactic spaceship departed Neo Neontopia for Earth, hoping to find a few new constellations along the way. As they passed the Star of David, boom, it exploded, covering them in grade A stardust and forever making them with the signature of their home constellation. Avoid just singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because it causes intense vomiting for two whole nights. <laughs> so after the stardust had settled, mostly in their lungs, they realized the experience had left them with the ability to glow in the dark. As the only nearly that glow from stardust, they thought this was pretty cool and quickly resumed their path to Earth to be adopted by loving and caring children. And there's so much, there's just so much on this box. So there says, identify your surprise. The stardust left such an impact on them that their surprises now shine in the dark, solid, dense, soft, runny. <laughs> and then these are the different ones. We have a stellar, uh, uh, nurstral, oh gosh, nurstron, uh, 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 it's astronaut, but nurstronaut, nurstronaut. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling so hard with this. And then Celestis. Oh my goodness. And then it does have a little bio for each of these. And then on the side we have more warnings and all kinds of stuff. I do want to thank the company for sending these to me. This is just so amazing. Um, let's take a little look at, or I'm going to read the bios for each of these before we get them open. So a stellar complete name. A stellar knowledge. Oh, that, that is stellar knowledge. Uh, she loves finding and naming new constellations as much as she loves lounging around in her pajamas all day long. Then there's the astronaut nurse. nurse yep. The self-proclaimed prince of the galaxy. His brilliant shines went wherever he goes. He's most famous for naming the constellation Neo, Neona Baby to help him get used to Earth's gravity. Place him in the gnarly baby Neo space walker. And then Celestis, surname, lit, light beam, bim, bim, bim. <laughs> She always keeps herself very busy and always moves at the speed of light. She loves to make wishes come true and for her best friends. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of the packages so we can start playing with them. Let's take a look at this little nearly first. I love the little tuft of hair at the top. It's green and pink and she has this little bow. She's just so cute. This is all printed on. She has a little bit of texture going on here and she even has her little diaper and here is her tummy. Like this is all rubbery. She has a little bug here and she even has like I guess a little hospital bracelet on. And of course we have our <laughs> goo thing from uh, the box. I think, can we, do we like attach it via here? I feel like we do. I don't know, maybe I should read the instructions first, but I think it would maybe go in here. No, maybe not. Anyway, we do have the care guide here, but we also got this paper inside. So let's open this up first. This looks just to be like a birth certificate and all that jazz. So yeah, we have the ID card. We have the Neo immunization schedule. <laughs> And, uh, yep, Neo vaccination schedule. And then here's the birth certificate. That's really cute. So official. And we do have this little picture here for the little photo section of the ID card. And that's going to happen with all of these guys. But let's go ahead and open up the care guide. Wow, this is a lot to read. <laughs> Should I? I guess we'll just, oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, this is, this is a lot. Um, this is just the story of her, er, er, neurally. Um, Let's see. 
the Nurley's belly button requires special care and should always be covered to prevent any type of infection. You need to remove its umbilical cord with a clean cotton ball and clean it with just a drop of purified water. The Nurley could just suffer from malnutrition if you wait more than three days to remove the umbilical cord because you have to connect the dri drippity drop. Don't forget to place the bandage over the cord. So wait, do we remove it now? Okay, we removed it. <laughs> And then we go ahead and place in the drippity drop. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. And then, what else? What else do we do? Uh, drippity drop. The Nurley is fed through its umbilical cord using the drippity drop. It should be administered every evening during the first two weeks after taking it home. After that, apply five minutes only when you notice your baby is pale. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Oh, dental care. After two weeks, you may remove your baby's tooth using the dental forceps so you can feed your baby using the that feeding method. Save the precious tooth and visit the nurse. Does she have a tooth? She doesn't have a tooth. <laughs> and let's see what else. Mm -mm. That's how to feed her. There's just, uh, is there another side? Ah, there's another side. Okay. So, crisis, bathing, vaccination, illness. Here's just, you know, feel free to pause it and read it. Instructions for grandparents. Um, here's the surprise. So, this is what I'm confused of. One month after your baby is ready to start eating solid food and your gnarly sprinkles, the special gnarly food will be ingested through the standard cozy close-up method. Fill its mouth with the food and leave it there for five seconds until the nutrients are absorbed. After feeding, burp your gnarly and be sure no food remains in its mouth. So it will not get food poisoning. You should feed your baby at least once a day till it's full. Um. Oh, although rare instances of poopies of babies arriving with poopy diapers have been reported, if your baby arrives with a poopy diaper, clean and change it right away. Let's see if we have a poopy diaper. Oh my gosh, there is! Oh snap! Oh my gosh, what? Ew, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, we gotta identify it. This is definitely soft surprise. Severe digestive upset. Oh goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna just put that back. <laughs> it's actually like sticky and squishy too. That's crazy awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put her together. Now, her arms and legs do move. Oops. Hold on. Or, well, her legs do. Yeah, her arms do too. And then, of course, we can reattach this, which we're gonna do for the time being. And we're gonna set her back here. Why don't we look at the other friends? Now they all have, oh, this guy came with this Neo drop here. And he is probably my favorite colored one anyway. I love their little pacifiers. He's just so pretty with all the blues and greens. And just, it's so amazing. Let's see what color or what kind he brought home. He brought, oh, he brought home the runny one. Oh, let's just put that back. <laughs> We're just not going to talk about that, but he's really cute. I like his little tuft of green hair, too. And then the last one we have, this is her little drop. And this is what she looks like. I like how she has two little, little piggy tails. And let's see what surprise she brought. This is cool. I really do like the little surprise. Oh, we got a different surprise for everybody, though. Seriously, I think this, is this the normal one? Oh, goodness. Oh, let's see, where is my identification guide? Oh, no, this is, um... Actually, I don't know. What would you guys say? Where'd it go? I don't know. I guess a solid surprise, but it doesn't really look like that pile. But I would say it may be a solid surprise. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm having a good time with these. <laughs> I really, I really am. And then these bugs just pop out as well. Just really cute. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which of these babies is your favorite, of course. That one is my favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.